neither shall he go out of the sanctuary, nor profane the sanctuary of his God, for the crown of the anointing oil of his God is upon him. I am the Lord. And he shall take a wife in her virginity, a widow, or a divorced woman, or profane, or an harlot, these shall he not take. But he shall take a virgin of his own people to wife. Neither shall he profane his seed among his people, for I the Lord do sanctify him. Lies and deception runs the beast system. There's absolutely no truth being told or taught to the people in the beast culture. Deceiving the masses is how the Satans are successful. Through deception, Satan obtained power and control over the nations. The time have come for all people to realize that you've been lied to about everything. The workers of iniquity in high places serve the leaders of the fallen angels. The scriptures in the authorized Bible refer to the leaders of the fallen as principalities and dark powers. The most popular names for the leaders of the fallen are the Satans. There are multiple Satans in the scriptures. Each Satan taught mankind all sorts of abominations. The scripture said in the book of John that there's no truth in the Satans. The scripture says Satan is a father of lies. When Satan speak, he's speaking his native language, which are lies. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. I often quote the scripture in the book of John you just heard. Today, we will dig deeper into this verse. The scripture in the book of John chapter 8 verse 44 lists the characteristics of the Satans. The word of the Most High informs us that the Satans were murderers from the very beginning. The scripture went on to say that the Satans abide not in the truth. The reason they don't abide in the truth, the truth is not in them. Did you hear that Israelites? There's absolutely no truth in them. Everything taught to us by the leaders in the beast system are lies. The Satans are incapable of speaking truth because the truth is not in them. The workers of iniquity in high places serve the Satans. Many of the spiritual wickedness in high places worship and serve the fallen angels as gods. The beast system lies in the power of the evil ones. And we know that we are of God. And the whole world lieth in wickedness. How can we follow the workers of iniquity in high places if the truth is not in them and in the idols they worship and serve? The word of the Most High is letting us know that there's no truth in them. Israelites, I hope you can now comprehend why you should have nothing in common with the beast system and with their gods. I hope you're starting to understand why the word of the Most High said, if you love the world, the love of the Father is not in you because everything that is in this world, the lust of the flesh is not of the Father, but of the Satan's. The scriptures in the book of James went as far as to say, anyone who's a friend with the world is an enemy to the Most High. Love not the world, neither things that are in the world. If any man love the world, The love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Israelites, I hope it's all coming together for you. We should have nothing in common with the B system. We certainly shouldn't share the same beliefs and God with the heathens that openly serve the fallen angels as gods. The scriptures let us know in the book of Corinthians that the workers of iniquity make their sacrifices to devils and not to the most high. We shouldn't be fighting the heathens for their imitation of the God of Israel. But I say... 
that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. The workers of iniquity is not teaching the truth in religion or in the beast culture. We know that the religion called Christianity have lied about everything. The Most High is exposing every secret that was hidden. The Most High used the Russian president to tell the masses on a global level the origin of the word of God when he was flesh. Although many have been sharing and saying this for years, the Most High used a high-level worker of iniquity to expose the lies to a larger audience. When we say it, we get dismissed and discredited. But when the heathens hear it from the mouth of one of their own, it changes everything. That is why they are commenting, we don't see color in every comment section that elaborates further on the origin of the word of God when he was flesh. The Most High used Putin to tell Israelites and the strangers that proclaim to serve the God of Israel that they've been serving false gods in religion. That is why the people who follow religion cannot progress in life. Many people who follow Christianity perish from a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. We often see how Christians don't know the very Bible they say is written for them. They carry the Bible around and display the Bible on their coffee table for decoration. They don't comprehend the scriptures, nor do they take the time to read the scriptures. If they did, the Holy Spirit could open their eyes to truth. When the Most High began to give the people an eye to see and ear to hear, this generation will begin to see the Satan's deceptions. The Satan spent their entire existence being an enemy to the seed of Adam and the Most High. The ancient fallen angels have been around mankind for so long that they have mastered how to deceive mankind. They even recruit men to destroy themselves. The book of Enoch informs us that the downfall to mankind is that they learn the abominations of the fallen angels. And a command has gone forth from the presence of the Lord concerning those who dwell on the earth that their ruin is accomplished because they have learned all the secrets of the angels and all the violence of the Satans and all their powers, the most secret ones, and all the power of those who practice sorcery and the power of witchcraft and the power of those who make molten images for the whole earth. Everything wicked that is taking place on this earth stems from the teachings learned from the fallen angels. Because many people are unaware of the unclean spirits and demons that surrounds them, they assign everything wicked to mankind. Israelites, that is why your focus should be on the unseen, like the scripture said in the book of Corinthians. The unseen things are eternal, while the seen things are temporary. Behind the scenes are demons and unclean spirits of all sorts of all kinds. The workers of iniquity who serve the fallen assist the fallen angels on removing books with truth to keep you ignorant to their presence in your life. If the people can recognize Satan's deceptions in the beast system, the population of people that are on the road that leads to life would increase. Unfortunately, the God of this world have blind the minds of many that they cannot see in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. Only the Holy Spirit can open your eyes to truth. The Most High have to remove the blindness put on His people by the workers of iniquity in order for His people to appreciate the truth the Most High is making available at this time. The verse in the book of John ends by saying when the Satans speak a lie, they are speaking their native language for they are liars and the father of lies. Not only is the truth not found in them, but they are the fathers of lies. The scriptures in the book of John is warning us of the lies and deceptions that exist in the beast system. Israelites, this is why I said to you in multiple messages to throw the baby away with the bathwater. 
the heathens plagiarize and corrupt the words of the Most High in the authorized Bible. The truth is not in the workers of iniquity, and they speak nothing but lies. Remember, a half-truth is still a lie. Why are we hanging on to their doctrines in the awakening or their interpretation of the scriptures in the awakening? We have to allow the Most High to renew our minds, which is the only way we will become transformed. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The time have come for us to unlearn everything taught to us by the workers of iniquity about our God as well as our origin. We have to make the decision as Israelites and strangers to seek the face of the Most High to allow the Holy Spirit to reveal truth to us and tell us the things to come. No heathen should tell us about our God, our origin, and our bloodline. We must let the Most High reveal this truth to us by His Spirit that searches the deep things of the Most High. But God hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Israelites, we can't be narrow-minded at this time. The Most High is revealing truth that will knock us off our feet. We have to prepare ourselves for the truth. The beast system is nothing but an illusion. I notice when the topic about our origin and our culture is trending or a hot topic, the heathens always find their way to enter our spaces to tell us who we are. They come with their propaganda about color and how color don't matter when they spend their entire existence discriminating against black people because of our skin color. Every nation have a caste system that determine how far you will make it in the B system. The closer you are to whiteness, the more successful you will become in the B system. Also, if you're willing to sell your soul for the crumbs of the heathens, you will find temporary success. Once the Satans have no use for you, they will strip you of the wealth and destroy you. But what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Unfortunately, there are countless Israelites selling their soul for material wealth that don't profit them. Every day we see Israelites compromising themselves on social media for likes and views. They will even turn on their own for a few dollars. Israelites don't fall for their propaganda to will you back into their web of lies. The heathens wants to reprogram our minds with their lies to prevent us from uncovering truth. That is why they want to control the narrative by taking over the awakening to pollute the truth the Most High is revealing at this time. If we backslide and allow the workers of iniquity to teach us about who we are, it will prevent us from seeking the face of the Most High for truth. The Most High said you will find him if you look for him with all of your heart. The heathens interfere by telling you to go through the God of this world to get to the Father. The obstacles the Satans put in our way through religious doctrines are a stumbling block to cause a separation between you and the Most High. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, saith the Lord. And I will turn away your captivity. And I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places whither I have driven you, saith the Lord. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Israelites, don't give the Satans access to your mind through doctrines of devils from organized religion. Like I said to you, the truth is not in them. They worship and follow the father of lies. The deeper we look into our origin and bloodline, the workers of iniquity and the fallen angels become fearful. The hybrids that walk among us can no longer go undetected. That is why they can't afford for us to know the truth about our origin. Knowing the truth about our origin exposes theirs. The Most High have been revealing the identity of the seed of the fallen on this channel for many years. Many scholars and scientists have confirmed that black people are the only pure humans. Us. And in fact, the, the Africans 
who came out from Africa have no evidence of any Neanderthal genes in them. No evidence of admixture. So they're the real pure humans. Homo sapiens. Really, really interesting and it gives you a lot to think about. If we're the pure human and we have people walking among us with the opposite appearance, what are they? Where did they come from? What are they mixed with if Black people are the only pure humans? The sooner the Indigenous Black people understand what they live among, as well as bloodline and how the Most High divided the earth, the heathens you admire and put on a pedestal will be exposed. Last week, we talked about bloodline and how each nation served their own gods. You learned that a bloodline is a family clan. Bloodline is not a group of people from various backgrounds coming together to form a bloodline. Bloodline is not multicultural. The sooner Israelites and the strangers that serve the God of Israel understand this truth, the debate about the identity of the Messiah and the God of Israel will end. Everything religion does is multicultural. The reason religion promotes the Israelites as a multicultural nation to get many people to accept the God of this world as their Lord and Savior. The more people the Satans forge an evil covenant under the disguise of the God of Israel and the word of God, he can control spiritually. The end goal for the kingdom of darkness is to establish a covenant with you. As long as the Satans have a covenant, they can control you. The Most High is a God of covenants. As long as the Satans have a covenant, they have the right to interfere and persecute you. Israelites, that is why the Most High warned his people to make no covenant with the heathens and with their gods. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. The Most High will honor all covenants regardless if they are an evil covenant. Many people don't know that they forge evil covenants with the God of this world in religion. The covenant you made with Jesus to be your Lord and Savior led to a separation between you and the Most High. The people of the Most High need to wise up at this time and allow the Most High to show you the Satan's deceptions. The Satans have deceived the heathens in Christianity with the replacement doctrine, spiritual Israel. In the false awakening, the Satans deceived the Israelites with you are what your father is doctrine. Let's start with you are what your father is doctrine that have increased the sins of the Israelites. A bloodline is a family clan. Each bloodline have a progenitor. A progenitor is the person the bloodline begins with or a person who originate. In the case of a bloodline, a progenitor is the person who originate the bloodline. Every bloodline is named after the progenitor of the bloodline. Every bloodline we read about in the scripture are called after the man who is the progenitor to the bloodline. Those of us who descend from the Israelite bloodline are known as Israelites because of Jacob, the progenitor to the Israelite bloodline. When the Most High changed Jacob's name to Israel, that is when he created the Israelite bloodline from the Hebrew bloodline. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God and with men, and hast prevailed. Abraham, whom the Most High made a covenant to make a father to many nations, he's a Hebrew. Although the Most High used people from the Hebrew bloodline to form the Israelite bloodline, Abraham wasn't an Israelite. The Most High used Abraham, that is why he's one of the fathers, but he is not an Israelite. Abraham's grandson, Jacob, is the progenitor to the Israelite bloodline. Israelites, it's very important for you to understand that Jacob is the progenitor to the Israelite bloodline. Today in the other awakening, many refer to themselves as Hebrew Israelites, combining the two bloodlines. Israelites, know that Jacob passed the Israelite bloodline to his children. Listen carefully. The progenitor of a bloodline can select the woman of his choice to establish his bloodline. It's very important for you to know that when it comes to the Israelite bloodline, the Most High was very strict. 
This is the holy seed. The Most High didn't want the holy seed to mingle with the other nations. Therefore, the Most High restrict his people from taking the sons and daughters from the other nations for husbands and wives. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Israelites, it's very important that you understand this truth. Satan is deceiving many in the other awakening with you are what your father is. Despite Jacob's journey of finding a wife appeared to be complicated, the Most High controlled who Jacob married and procreated with. Despite Laban deceiving Jacob and gave him Leah for a wife instead of Rachel, Jacob's wives were arranged by the Most High for Jacob, just as the Most High selected Rebekah for Isaac. Israelites know that the Most High is in control over the righteous. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Most High. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. The Israelites are a special case when it comes to bloodline. The sons of Israel today are misled into believing they are the progenitors of the Israelite bloodline. Because many sons of Israel have been deceived by this falsehood, it gave birth to you are what your father is doctrine. The Israelite bloodline originate with Jacob, which is why the Israelite bloodline is called after Jacob. The sons and daughters of Jacob can only transfer the Israelite bloodline to their children when they marry within the Israelite bloodline. The sons of Israel cannot take strange women from various bloodlines and make Israelite children. Only Jacob can select the woman of his choice because he is the progenitor. This generation of Israelites are not the originators. If they want to transfer the Israelite bloodline to their children, they have to marry within the Israelite bloodline. To the Israelites in this generation that are boastful about your Israelite heritage, you can only transfer the Israelite heritage to your children if you marry within the Israelite bloodline. If you have been deceived by you are what your father is doctrine and married a strange wife, you didn't transfer the Israelite heritage to your children. If you want to pass the bloodline of your father to your children, you have to marry within your father's bloodline. If you choose to marry a strange woman, you started your own bloodline. That is why a bloodline is a family clan. Every man can become a progenitor to his own bloodline if they don't want to continue in their father's bloodline. To the Israelites who believe they are passing the Israelite bloodline to their children with strange women and men, you have been deceived. The children that are begotten of them shall enter into the congregation of the Lord in their third generation. If you want to start your own bloodline, then you are free to select the woman of your choice to start your bloodline. The bloodline you started will be called after you. The concept of children taking their father's last name imitates bloodline. To the sons of Israel that married strange women and had children, congratulations, you are a progenitor to your very own bloodline. Shem, Ham, and Japheth are brothers. However, they are the progenitor to three different bloodlines. Every time a man marries a woman and procreate with a woman that is not of his father's seed, he started his own bloodline. I hope the Most High opened the heart and mind of the sons of Israel and the daughters of Zion to receive this truth. If you want to pass on your father's bloodline to your children, in our case, if we want to pass the Israelite bloodline to our children, we must marry within the Israelite bloodline. Any teaching contrary to this is of the Satan's. Israelites, don't let the lust of the flesh control you. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lusts thereof. The Most High made it very clear that he doesn't want the Holy Seed to mingle their seed with the other nations. I don't want the sons of Israel to feel as if something is being taken from you with the Most High exposing doctrines of devils that are a stumbling block to his people. The Most High is revealing truth to save your life. The scriptures talk about when the offspring of an Israelite child becomes whatever his or her father is. 
when two Israelites from different tribes marry. The children from that union identify with the tribe of his or her father. If a Levite man marries a daughter of Zion from the tribe of Naphtali, their children will identify with the tribe of Levi. Israelites, don't let Satan deceive you in the awakening. If you allow the scriptures to speak, you will find the truth. So shall not the inheritance of the children of Israel remove from tribe to tribe. For every one of the children of Israel shall keep himself to the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers. And every daughter that possesseth an inheritance in any tribe of the children of Israel shall be wife unto one of the family of the tribe of her father, that the children of Israel may enjoy every man the inheritance of his fathers. Neither shall the inheritance remove from one tribe to another tribe, but every one of the tribes of the children of Israel shall keep himself to his own inheritance. The Most High didn't want the Israelites to marry outside their tribes. I'm not sure why anyone would allow the Satans to deceive them with you are what your father is doctrine. Don't let the lust of the flesh enslave you. There are some people who believe the women don't have a role when it comes to bloodline. When Judah married the Canaanite woman, the scriptures made it very clear that despite her being a woman, she was of the Canaanite seed. Jacob said to Judah that the Most High is not going to allow a Canaanite woman's seed to mingle with his seed. She was of a Canaanitish family and Jacob's heart suffered much on that account. And he said to Judah, his son, who had married that wife, the God of Abraham and of Isaac would not allow the seed of this Canaanitish woman to mingle with my seed. Despite her being a woman, her bloodline mattered. With Judah marrying her, it caused Jacob's seed to mingle with the Canaanite seed. If the woman's bloodline didn't matter, the Most High wouldn't have a problem with the sons of Israel marrying strange women, especially from the Canaanite bloodline. King Solomon married many women from various bloodlines. All of his wives had daughters for him. A daughter of Zion from the tribe of Dan gave birth to his son Rehoboam, who succeeded Solomon. Yet King Solomon took to himself many wives, 700 daughters of kings, 300 concubines, a thousand in number. Yet although Solomon married these many wives, they did not bear him a single male child, except Rehoboam of Amnon the daughter of Dan, king of Oman, who was of a blessed race. Thus again, God would not allow the seed of the Canaanites to mingle with that of strange peoples, which God had made strangers. Israelites, when you go deeper with the Most High, you will find the truth. Allow the scriptures to speak and only spread what the Holy Spirit have revealed to you. Don't pass along doctrines the Most High didn't confirm to you. By doing this, it will eliminate the doctrines of devils, destroying many Israelites in the awakening. Keep in mind that a bloodline is a family clan. The Satans came up with the replacement doctrine in the beast religion to steal the promises the God of Israel made with his people, the Israelites. In addition, the Satans found a way to blend the seed of the fallen with the indigenous black people to give them land inheritance. A few years ago, I did a video called The Gentiles Always Had an Opportunity to Serve the God of Israel. This truth still stands until this day. The other nations and individuals who humble themselves to serve the God of Israel always had an opportunity. The Most High even gave the strangers that live among the Israelites inheritance among the tribes they live among. And it shall come to pass that ye shall divide it by lot for an inheritance unto you and to the strangers that sojourn among you, which shall beget children among you. And they shall be unto you as born in the country among the children of Israel. They shall have inheritance with you among the tribes of Israel. And it shall come to pass that in what tribe the stranger sojourneth, there shall ye give him his inheritance, saith the Lord God. You don't have to become an Israelite to serve the God of Israel. The workers of iniquity deceive the Gentiles or non-Israelites into believing they are spiritual Israel and the Most High put away his people. The workers of iniquity convince many heathens and Israelites that Christians have replaced the Israelites as spiritual Israel. 
Spiritual Israel doctrine is a false doctrine, just like the countless other doctrines of devils coming from Rome. If spiritual Israel was of the most high, Rome needs to explain the existence and purpose of the Jewish people for claiming to be Israelites. The world recognized the Jewish people as the descendants of the Israelites. The world acknowledged them and stand with them. Everywhere you go, you see we stand with Israel signs. If the Jewish people are the Israelites and they have returned to the land given to them by the Most High, how did Christians replace the Israelites to become spiritual Israel? Dear New Testament saints, you didn't replace the Israelites. Majority of the letters written in the New Testaments are speaking to the Israelites that are scattered. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting. The book of James is speaking to the 12 tribes that are scattered. The scriptures is not speaking to anyone but the Israelites and the strangers that cleave to the Israelites. The Most High sent the word of God to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Every nation had their own God they serve. Regardless if the Israelites are a rebellious, stiff-necked people, the Most High is still the God of Israel. That is why he is called as such. Nowhere in the scriptures does it say none Israelites have become spiritual Israel to serve the God of Israel. The grafted in doctrine is false. You don't need to be grafted in. The scripture said for you to cleave to the Israelites and honor the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. The workers of iniquity made it seem as if you have to be an Israelite to serve the God of Israel. There were countless individuals in the scriptures that served the God of Israel and they were not Israelites. The strangers that live among the Israelites that served the God of Israel weren't Israelites and they served the God of Israel. The Most High is not going to reject a person because they're not of the Israelite bloodline. The main reason the Most High created the Holy Seed was to use the Holy Seed to tell the other nations about him. The Israelites were supposed to be a light in this dark world full of idolatry. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hid. As the other nations observe the Israelites and see how the Most High deal with them, the Most High was hoping it would influence the other nations to turn from idolatry to serve him in the spirit and in truth. Unfortunately, the Israelites failed at being a light to the dark world. They allowed the heathens to influence them with their false gods and idols. The Most High said in the book of Amos, because the Israelites are the only family that he knows, he will punish them for all of their iniquities. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. The Israelites are being judged all over the world for all of their sins. The other nations will be judged when the day of the Most High comes. The Israelite bloodline is not a religion but a family clan. Only in religion can a person convert to another faith. We see this happening frequently in Judaism. Many people convert to that religion. Judaism is a religion just like all other religion. When it comes to the Holy Seed, the Israelite bloodline is a family clan. No Gentile can marry into the Israelite bloodline. Any Gentile or stranger trying to marry into the Israelite bloodline is causing the Israelites to sin against their God. The Most High forbid the Israelites to mingle their seed with anyone. To the Gentiles and strangers, just because you want the promises the Most High made to the Israelites, it doesn't mean you're entitled to the blessings. Infiltrating the Israelite bloodline through marriage is not going to give you access to those promises nor entry to the coming kingdom. The scripture said you shouldn't covet anything. Many strangers and Gentiles covet the promises made to the Israelites. That is why so many accept being spiritual Israel. To the Gentiles and strangers, the scripture said in the book of Corinthians that no covetous will inherit the coming kingdom. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, 
neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. As you heard for yourself, no covetous will inherit the kingdom. If you love the God of Israel, like many of you proclaim, you must uphold the laws, statutes, and commandments. Stop trying to change the words of the Most High to give yourself access to promises that weren't made to you. The Most High gave his people many laws to follow. How can Christians be spiritual Israel and teach that the laws are done away with? Dismissing the laws of the Most High show that you don't serve the God of Israel, nor would the Most High replace his people with a group of people that are lawless. You're no different from the natural branches that rejected their God. It's important for the strangers and Gentiles to understand that you cannot convert to become an Israelite. That is why the replacement doctrine is a false doctrine. The Most High didn't replace his people with the Gentiles. What the Most High did was provoke his people to anger by taking the people who are not a people to vex them like his people did him. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. But they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. And I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. The scriptures you just heard in the book of Deuteronomy made it known that the other nations are not his people. The Most High used these nations to get the attention of the Israelites that have angered him with their idols. Never have the Most High replaced the Israelites. The workers of iniquity use spiritual Israel as a way to give the seed of the fallen access to steal from the Israelites. Also, the workers of iniquity use spiritual Israel to deceive countless people into worshiping the God of this world. The more people who accept the God of this world as their Lord and Savior, the Satans can destroy and operate through. Have you noticed in religion, in order to receive a blessing from the Most High, you have to pass through a third party before reaching the Most High? For example, you can't get to the Father unless you go through the Son. In order for you to be saved, you have to accept the Son as your Lord and Savior. In the beast religion, you have to be grafted in as spiritual Israel. In order to become spiritual Israel, you have to accept the Son as your Lord and Savior. There's always some sort of a barrier between the Most High, the Father, and the people. The time have come for all people to recognize the deception. The Most High said, you will find him if you look for him with all of your heart. The Father said, draw near to him and he will draw near to you. Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Israelites, it's very important for you to understand that the Most High didn't replace his people with the strangers and the Gentiles that proclaim they serve the God of Israel in Christianity. To the Gentiles, it's important for you to understand that you don't need to become spiritual Israel to serve the God of Israel. The Most High always gave the Gentiles and the strangers the opportunity to serve him. You don't have to be grafted in to serve the God of Israel. Simply humbling yourself upholding the laws, statutes, and commandments, denouncing the idols of your father's house and repenting, as well as cleaving to his people, the Israelites, is all that is required of you to serve the God of Israel. Religion made it seem as if you have to jump through hoops to obtain salvation. Many Gentiles and strangers are allowing the Satans to use them to push the natural branches out from serving their God. Don't allow the kingdom of darkness to use you to destroy the apple of the Most High's eyes. The scriptures warn the nations, as you have done, it shall be done to you. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. The awakening is happening because the Most High is giving all people, not just the Israelites, but all people the opportunity to repent. The Most High is pouring out truth to increase knowledge of all people who have been fed lies in the beast system. The scriptures prophesied about a time where the Gentiles and the strangers will say, 
Surely we have inherited lies. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. That time is now. Many people don't know the truth. Religion have taught nothing but lies. That is why it was prophesied that many will see for themselves all the lies taught by the spiritual wickedness in high places. The Most High is giving everyone the opportunity to know the truth. Many don't know the God of Israel. The people know the imitation. In the last days, the God of Israel is making himself known to all. The Most High, the Father, wants the Israelites to return to him. The Most High want the other nations to repent and serve Him. Don't let religion divide us. Remember, the truth is meant to set us free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Spiritual Israel is a false doctrine created by the high-level workers of iniquity in religion. You are what your father is, is another false doctrine that Satan used to deceive many Israelites in the awakening. The time have come for all people to increase their knowledge. If you serve the God of Israel, the time have come for you to allow the truth of the Most High's words to sanctify you. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. You can't serve the God of Israel and hate the natural branches. You can't serve the God of Israel and try to replace the natural branches. If you truly love and serve the God of Israel, stop trying to deny the Israelites of their heritage and culture. To the heathens who proclaim color doesn't matter, remove the graven images of the word of God when he became flesh. If you are for the most high, tell the truth and give back what you have stolen. I challenge you to wage war with the spiritual wickedness that lied to you. Encourage the leaders of your nations who plagiarize the word of God to restore the truth if you truly serve the God of Israel. The time have come for all people to read the scriptures for themselves. If you rely on religion for salvation, the lake of fire will be your final resting place. The truth is out there for all who hunger and thirst after the truth. Israelites, let go of the way of this world and return to the God of your fathers. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them. And I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty.